So I'm down here on one of the work boats that's provided to me. And just, uh, we've been having some bad seal issues with the front seal on a Sea Star. It's the uh, 1.7 helm. Um, that's actually the volume of how much fluid it holds. I believe it's 1.7 liters is what it is. So, um, you see all the oil draining down the console and everything. Pretty much what you want to do is pop your center cap. Uh, you'll remove your nut, which I've already loosened all the stuff up. A couple different ways of getting the steering off. It's held in there with a, with a little keyway. It's hard to see with the way the light is. You can see the little notch in there. Uh, some people will take a block of wood or some wedges, put the wedges behind the wheel. Uh, I've actually got a puller that I use that just makes it so much easier. No beating on it, no tearing anything up. So my puller will go behind the wheel. The center of my puller goes right in the middle of the, the uh, shaft there. Tighten it up, wheel pops right off. So the wheel pops off. Pretty simple process to change this front seal. You can actually see oil leaking back out of it. So you want to wipe all that down real good. Maybe use a little bit of a degreaser or a brake cleaner or something like that on it. You've got these three screws. You can pop these three screws off. The seal kit comes with new screws, comes with a new plate for right there, and a it's called a four-way O-ring. It's not a, uh, not a round O-ring. It's actually got flat sides on it. So let me get that pulled out for you real quick. I'll show you, you. you can see it's really hard to see her here, but you can actually see the little edges in it. You can see it's not round. It has it's it's called a four-way O-ring or some crazy name like that. So pretty much you pull this plate off of these three screws, pop it out, put the new O-ring back in, pull the old O-ring out, put the new one back in, put it all back together. So I'll pull these three screws out and I'll show you what it looks like from there. All right, so depending on how long your helm unit has been sitting up, you gotta make sure you remove this keyway. Mine's pretty stiff. Uh, what I did is I just took the end of a flathead screwdriver, put it at an angle, popped it a couple times, it popped right out. Uh, if you got some good lubricant or penetrating oil, it'd be a good time to put that to use. Um, I don't have the best tools on me right now. So usually at my house, if I was working out of my garage, I'd have a pick. So I'm just using the tip of my flathead, see if I can pop this, pop this plate up here. I stick something in there with a sharp edge to get that popped up. So, like I said, depending on how long some of your stuff's been sitting, some of it's going to take a good bit more work to get it out and get it apart. So, just take your time. Make sure you're using proper tools, unlike what I'm doing right now. And I'm also one-handed. It's, it's a lot easier when you're not trying to shoot a video, pull everything out at the same time. So this I will need a pick because you can see where the O-ring is. That O-ring seal sits down right down in that edge and everything's so bright. I got horrible light in here, but you can just see the O-ring in that, in that edge down there. So you're gonna have to get something to pick it out. And then what I like to do to put it back in and press it in good and smooth is find a socket about the size of that. And you can drop your socket down or a little piece of pipe or something like that. And just be real careful not to pinch it or crush it and then put it back in. Another thing I want to make sure that you note is make sure you get all the grease, grime, dirt, anything out of that that you can. Uh, any of that that you don't get cleaned out will end up getting pushed down into where that seal is. And you can actually see where the hub of the, the steering wheel hits that. And, and you got to be careful pushing against across that also. Otherwise, you're going to damage that new O-ring. This shaft actually looks really bad and it probably is really bad. It's a matter of time before this unit does just have to be changed out all together. Like I said, you don't want to put any grease or dirt or anything. You want to make sure you get it all clean out as good as you can. Because if you don't, you're going to end up wearing that new O-ring down and just creating yourself another issue uh, not far down in the future. So I got everything cleaned out real good. I put a little bit of my hydraulic steering oil on that O-ring, which you can probably see a little bit better down in there now than you could before when everything was real dirty nasty. But I've put a little bit of that oil on there in that O-ring, uh, the hydraulic steering oil, uh, just so it would go down smooth. And you gotta be careful to push it down smooth and even. That way you're not creating a hang up at this bottom edge of the seal or anything anywhere. Uh, the less snagging, the more even it goes in, the better off you're gonna be, the better chances are you're gonna have a, a good proper seal and not have any issues a little bit later down the road. 
So the Sea Star kit actually, I think it's about $14 at the local boating supply store. Uh, they send new screws, a new plate that goes over the, the new O-ring, which we, my O-ring's already been put in. Uh, but there are the old parts. You can see the corrosion on the, uh, the screws that actually hold the plate in. So the good thing is with them sending new parts in is you get to put new fresh in there. I do put oil on mine. I oil everything, being that it's on a boat. Um, I would recommend going and seeing what the manufacturer says. Um, I just know that these are parts that will have to come back apart later down the road. And if you go in there and put some red Loctite on there, you might as well just pull the whole helm off, throw it in the trash. Uh, you can get it off, but you're probably going to destroy all the seals in the process. I think red Loctite, you have to use heat to get it out of there. But they do a real good job of sending you the few little pieces that you need. It's not a big deal. Just go ahead and swap them out too. Like I said, you can see the corrosion on those versus these brand new stainless screws. So. Uh, 14 bucks, just go ahead and swap it all out, not, not fight with it. Once you get your screws and plate back in, um, I like to try to clean out the track that the keyway goes in. Uh, kind of wedge it in there. It gives, it's, gives me a little bit of resistance, but I'm going to lightly tap it in place. Like I said, I've oiled everything up. I'm gonna lightly tap it in place to make sure I can get the, the steering back in. Blow the dust out of there because there is some salt corrosion in it. Um, pretty much you're at the point you just cut the steering back together. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to grease the spindle a little bit. Uh, like I said, if, especially, I mean, this boat's got almost 500 hours on there. I think we've had it for six months, so they get run like crazy. And that's one of the reasons this is in as rough a condition as it is. It's definitely not a new part. Um, but these boats are boats that get worked and get used a lot. So, um, you know, when people don't use them as much, some of them are even actually get worse when they don't get used. Um, but like I said, just put your little grease on the spindle, put your wheel back down. Um, it probably gives torque specs in the uh, uh, instruction manual. Uh, I'm not going to be torquing this to spec. I'm just going to tighten it down. It is a nylock washer that goes on there, so it's not going to back back off. As long as you get to get snugged up good. Uh, if you got any other questions or any comments, um, any anything I missed, the, this video is kind of an afterthought. And I figure I at least throw it on out there and, and give you a, a quick, easy idea of, of how this helm has changed out or how the, the front seal on this helm has changed out. Like I said, questions, comments, feel free to ask them, send me a message, and uh, I'll get you any information I can.